Paul knows. That always depends on where you're standing, mm -hmm. what cloud cover looks like. So what do you think? The good news is we're going to have mostly clear skies across pretty much the entire Bay Area as we head through tonight. So that part's looking good. Now it's just whether the meteor shower actually lives up to potential expectations or whether it's just nothing special. Look outside about 10 o'clock and see if you can see any shooting stars overhead. We are going to have clear skies thanks to an area of high pressure off the coast, dominating our weather. A storm system slipping into the Great Basin, squeezing the atmosphere over the Bay Area and producing offshore winds. They're going to be developing as we head through the rest of this evening and tonight, and that always elevates the fire weather concerns. Right now, though, the only spot that actually has offshore winds, Santa Rosa, where they're about 14 miles an hour. It's a strong onshore wind along the coast and around the bay. 31 mile an hour sustained wind right now at SFO. But as those winds shift later tonight into tomorrow, we're going to have to watch for a combination of low humidity and those offshore winds, especially in Solano County, where you're under a red flag warning. But as I mentioned at the top of our 5 o'clock newscast, real borderline in terms of the fire weather conditions. The humidity not as low as it usually would be when we talk about a red flag warning. And the winds aren't going to be as strong either. The humidity levels really shouldn't be too problematic as we head through tonight. They are going to drop throughout the day tomorrow, especially inland in the North Bay and the East Bay, but down to about 10 to 15 percent. No single digit values on the map for tomorrow afternoon. And by the time these lowest humidity values develop, already the winds are going to be pivoting and becoming onshore once again. So the strongest offshore winds and the lowest humidity levels just aren't going to overlap timing wise. That's good news in terms of helping to keep the worst of the fire weather conditions from developing at least in our neck of the woods. Central Valley looks like they have a greater concern with this system. As we look at our high temperatures from today, it was beautiful out there for this Memorial Day holiday. Only 59 along the coast, low 60s in San Francisco, a couple degrees below average, but a lot of 70s. The warmest spots reaching up to around 80 degrees. A warmer trend starts to kick in tomorrow for the next few days. It's still 80 degrees right now in Santa Rosa, but only 68 in Petaluma. A mix of 60s and 70s for most of us. 55 degrees right now, Half Moon Bay. Even with that offshore wind trying to develop farther inland, we are not going to lose the onshore influence. So we're going to see a wide range in temperatures by tomorrow afternoon. Tonight's temperatures drop down to the upper 40s and low 50s. A little bit cool, but pleasantly cool. Looks like it should be nice out there this evening. High temperatures tomorrow in San Francisco reaching up into the upper 60s by mid-afternoon. Plenty of sunshine overhead throughout the day. Those numbers about 3 degrees above normal. Santa Rosa should be several degrees above normal, reaching up into the mid-80s by late afternoon. As the winds begin to shift, we'll see those temperatures tumbling off once we reach that high temperature of 86 in the North Bay. 87 degrees for a high temperature in Concord. It's warm, but it's nowhere close to record setting. Even the very warmest spots are only going to get close to 90 degrees and nowhere close to it in San Jose. High temperatures reaching the low 80s. We'll fill in the rest of the map anywhere from 60 degrees along the coast to close to 90 degrees for Fairfield, Antioch and Brentwood. Those will be the hot spots. Most inland temperatures in the 80s. It'll be a mix of upper 60s and low to mid 70s around most of the bay. Talked about that rain chance for the weekend. I want to show you side by side the two long range forecast models, the American forecast model and the European model, and they agree that a decent chance of showers is going to move into the Bay Area late Saturday night into early Sunday. Where they differ is how long it sticks around. That American model dries up pretty quickly. European model tries to keep the showers going farther into Sunday afternoon and evening. Fingers crossed. We'll take as much rain as we can possibly get. We'll keep you updated as that system gets a little bit closer. But right now it's the sixth day of the seven day forecast. A little bit too soon to have much confidence in the specific timing or specific amounts. Temperatures will be cooler over the weekend, especially inland. San Jose drops to the mid 70s, so to inland parts of the East Bay and only low 70s for high temperatures over the weekend north of the Golden Gate, where you have that better chance of picking up at least some light rain showers.